Good morning, and welcome to this time of prayer for Wednesday, the 12th of August, 2020. And just by way of information, yesterday, the 11th of August, was the feast day for Claire of Assisi, which is our patron saint of our church, and we certainly give thanks for her life and ministry and devotion to God. Amen. Let's take a moment just to gather our thoughts in prayer. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night is past and the day lays open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The Canticle, A Song of God's Glorious Name O Lord, our Governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. Your majesty above the heavens is praised out of the mouths of babes at the breast. You have founded a stronghold against your foes, that you might still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have ordained, what are mortals that you should be mindful of them, mere human beings that you should seek them out? You have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honor. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands, and put all things under your feet. All sheep and oxen, even the wild beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever moves in the paths of the sea. O Lord our Governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our appointed psalm for this morning is Psalm number 119, verses 57 to 80. Psalm 119, verses 57 to 80. You only are my portion, O Lord. I have promised to keep your words. I entreat you with all my heart. Be merciful to me according to your promise. I have considered my ways and turned my feet back to your testimonies. I made haste and did not delay to keep your commandments. Though the cords of the wicked entangle me, I do not forget your law. At midnight, I will rise up to give you thanks because of your righteous judgments. I am a champion of all those who fear you, those who keep your commandments. The earth, O Lord, is full of your faithful love. Instruct me in your statutes. You have dealt graciously with your servant according to your word, O Lord. O teach me true understanding and knowledge, for I have trusted in your commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are gracious and do good. O Lord, teach me your statutes. The proud have smeared me with lies, but I will keep your commandments with my whole heart. Their heart has become gross with fat, but my delight is in your law. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I am made learn from your statutes. The law of your mouth is dearer to me than a hoard of gold and silver. Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Those who fear you will be glad when they see me, because I have hoped in your word. I know, O Lord, that your judgments are right and that in very faithfulness you cause me to be, to be troubled. Let your faithful love be my comfort according to your promise to your servant. Let your tender mercies come to me that I may live, for your law is my delight. Let the proud be put to shame, for they wrong me with lies, but I will meditate on your commandments. Let those who fear you turn to me, those who we know you, know your testimonies. Let my heart be sound of your statutes, that I may not be put to shame. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Canticle, A Song of the Word of the Lord. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked abandon their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Return to the Lord who have mercy, 
to our God who will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and snow come down from above, and return not again but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me fruitless, but it will accomplish that which I purpose, and succeed in the task I gave it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. Our intercessions for this morning. We pray for the day and for the tasks which lay before us. We pray for the world and its needs, especially remembering those areas which are touched by war and strife. Our prayers also go out for those in Lebanon who are dealing with the aftermath of the explosion. We pray for all who are sick in body, mind, or spirit. We pray for those who are in the midst of famine or disaster. We pray for victims of abuse and violence and intolerance and prejudice. We also pray for those who are bereaved. We pray for all who work in the medical and healing professions. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our prayers have been asked for God's healing grace for Bob Honders, Deborah, Elena, Pauline, Velma, Nancy, Sarah, James, Angela, Grace, Marjorie, Elota, Yvonne, Gore, Catherine, Richard, Stephen, Shirley M, Luca, Carol G, Carrie and Matthew, Jacob, and to those who are known to you alone. In our congregational prayer cycle, we pray for Carolyn and Bill Lilico, Jay Lister, Wilda and Perry Mariner, Pat McLean, Bob and Linda Matese, and Doris Michaels. By way of blessings and thanksgivings, we give thanks for the members of St. Clair's who are engaged in the music ministry of our church. And we certainly look forward to the time when we'll be gathered to hear it again live. We pray for those who are coping with the coronavirus. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy. Sustain and support the anxious. Be with those who care for the sick. And lift up all who are brought low that we may find comfort knowing that nothing can separate us in your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now, O Lord, we lift our own prayers and petitions, which weigh heavy on our hearts. Amen. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you promise your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together, you will hear their requests. Fulfill now our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come eternal life. For you, Father, are good and loving, and we glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. In the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Our colleagues for this day. Almighty God, who sent your Holy Spirit to be the life and light of your church, open our hearts to the riches of your grace, that we may bring forth the fruit of the Spirit in love and joy and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May God bless the work of our hands this day. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you for sharing this time of prayer with me this morning, and have a great day ahead. Amen.